Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do a quick little video on how we made Willow's smash cake for her first birthday smash DIY home photo shoot and it came out amazing. The cake looked amazing. It was so easy and super affordable. So stay tuned. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and leave any comments in the section below. So this is gonna be my first voiceover for one of my videos, so bear with me, hopefully I do a good job. First thing I like to do is trace the bottom of my pans onto parchment paper so I can cut out perfect little circles to stick into it. And then I just put some butter around the pan and we're gonna make our boxed cake mix. I love to pull out the spinners while they're still spinning slow to get as much batter off of them as I can. A couple questions I wanted to address from Instagram because I kind of just posted that I was making this cake. People were like, share your recipe. My baby's turning one also and I need to figure out like a cake recipe without sugar and all of that. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I remember all of those feelings when I was doing this for Cole, driving myself insane because this was gonna be the first time that he was getting a cake. And I was like, I need a good recipe. It needs to be organic. I don't want it to have a lot of sugar. And after talking it out with a lot of people and then it got down to crunch time and we were running out of time basically. And I just was so overwhelmed. I was like, we're gonna feed him a bottle in Willow's case, we're gonna feed her a bottle, we're gonna give her food, and then she's gonna do the smash cake. So they're not gonna eat the entire cake. They're gonna play around in it, and it's not worth yourself stressing out so much about the sugar, or it's not organic, or this and that and the other thing. If you wanna keep doing that, go for it. I can give you some suggestions. That would be to do an Annie's cake mix cake box mix and get the little pans, make it yourself and whatnot, and then maybe do like an alternative as in Cool Whip. So just use Cool Whip instead of like a crazy sugary icing, and that should be a good substitute. Or you can ask a bakery and see what options they have. But when I was doing it with Cole, I, the, the best thing that I came up with was the Annie's cake mix, and then I was gonna do like a whipped cream topping. We ran out of time. And you know what I ended up doing? I ended up going to BJ's, which is a wholesale club near me. You can go to any food store, get a small cake. I got a plain small cake. It had just um, white frosting on it. And then I got whipped cream in the containers. I put it into separate bowls. I dyed it and I did like an ombre blue. If I can, I'll insert a picture here of what Cole's cake looked like because that's what we did for his baby shark birthday. For Willow, we're gonna basically do the same thing, but I'm gonna actually try and make the cake this time. So the one that I'm practicing with is Funfetti and it's uh, Pillsbury. So nothing, nothing special. We're using our organic eggs that we have in the fridge and I am going to use a regular thing of icing. I'll show that in the video. And my plan is to do the same thing with the whipped cream to tint the coloring, to do it like a unicorn kind of coloring up the top and then I have a cake topper. So I just wanted to say that and address that with you because you don't have to stress out about your baby's first birthday cake. They're not gonna eat it all. They're gonna smash around in it. They're gonna eat a couple handfuls and they are not going to die. They can have sugar. They're one let them splurge. But my advice is just feed them before so that they're not starving hungry and they're gonna eat their cake like it's the first thing that they ate for the day. Give them healthier options first. Feed their little bellies, fill them up so that they're not eating the entire cake. All right, let's get back to the video. This is one of my favorite cake holders. It came from Bed Bath & Beyond. I'll link it all below, but it is just so convenient. They have a cake holder for cupcakes also. So I'm just gonna cut the rounded part off of the top of both cakes. I like to take a knife and go around the outside just to make sure that nothing's stuck and it comes out super easy, especially with the parchment paper on the bottom. So 
So I cut it once and I decided that I needed to cut a little more off. Now I'm just gonna take a glass to stick my Ziploc bag in and fill it with some icing. I put some icing down on the actual base so that the cake wouldn't slip around. Then I put some on the inside, smeared it around, put the top on, and then now we're just gonna pipe it around the outside because as you can see, after I do this, it'll be easier to smooth it on rather than just scooping it out of the container with a butter knife and then trying to messily put it on. If you don't have one of these little spatula things for cake decorating, you need to get one. It is so worth it and it makes everything so smooth and it's just, it's just so much easier. So now I'm just taking off excess icing because this is basically just the foundation of the cake so that when I put the whipped cream on, it smoothly goes on and I don't get any cake bits in it. And here we go, ding dong me, left a little cake scooper in the top and it fell onto the cake, but accidents happen and I just left that in there to show you that it's not the end of the world and you can fix it. Now I'm gonna put the cake in the fridge so it kind of chills and then I have to get my whipped cream, we'll tint it, and I'll show you guys how we put lines around it of the different coloring and then ombre it up. I was thinking as I was putting it into my fridge down in the basement, we also have a deep freezer and I'm like, you could totally pre-make this cake, stick it in your deep freezer, then put the whipped cream on it, like, I don't know, the day before and let it thaw in the fridge and it would probably be just as good and then you don't have to like scramble to make a cake. So that was just a thought because all the cakes come frozen from the grocery stores and everything. So it's like, hmm, good thought. Hi, mommy's making your cake. Hi baby doll, you're turning one. I'm gonna take that from you. Hi honey. Hey. Hi. Hi. Are you trying to grab my camera? All right, here's the part that you guys have all been waiting for. You're probably like, why did you take seven minutes to show us how you actually icing this cake? I was really excited though when I went to the store and found these pastel colored food colorings. So I'm gonna take a couple or a few scoops of Cool Whip into each bowl. I'm gonna start with the blue. I started out lightly just to see and I ended up putting three drops of the blue to get the light blue color that I wanted. Now we're doing the purple. I started out with one of each, one blue dot and one red dot. It ended up being three blues and two reds was the perfect purple color. The pink, I actually ended up just putting one drop of the pink food coloring in to get that light pink color. And then the last color is gonna be my white. Just put it into your little bags, cut the tip off, and we're gonna put one line around the bottom of the cake. I'm gonna start with the blue, and then we're gonna move to our purple. We're gonna put one line of purple around the entire cake. This does not have to be perfect. Obviously, you can see it looks like a sloppy mess. Then we're gonna go to our pink, put one line of pink around the entire cake, and then grab your white whipped cream, put it all over the top, and put one line around the outside. Now grab this handy dandy cake decorating spatula, I don't even know what it's called, and just go lightly around the edge. Just put the cake on something that you can turn and slowly drag this around lightly. You're gonna go around multiple, multiple, multiple different times. So I was just dragging it around the cake, wiping off the excess whipped cream into a bowl, and then wiping my spatula off with a paper towel before I put it back onto the cake so that I wouldn't smear the ombre of the colors going up. And then you just keep spinning, keep doing that until you have it looking like you want it to. 
And lastly, I got a paper towel and I drug it around the bottom of the cake to get all that excess off of the base. Getting ready. So you had a baba and now you're eating some filet and potatoes and corn. Feed that belly. But leave some room for cake. Yeah. And here we are deciding what we're actually gonna put on the cake. I had the letters O and E and I was kind of hooked on that because that's what I did with Cole. But Joe was like, no, do both. I think it'll look fine. So we ended up putting the horn on the eyelashes and then putting the O and E off to the side. So this is our final cake. I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and make sure to leave any comments or suggestions in the section below.